All right. So this is a very important topic that I wanted to talk about. And I did a video about this recently, and I wanted to revisit it because there were a lot of people who had questions about, you know, when I did this topic. And when I talked about, you know, reasons why you should fire your accountant, and some people were asked questions about, like, you know, are you talking about this topic because you're trying to drum up business for yourself? And I tell people that. I'm not talking about this topic because, or I guess the message that I'm communicating is not, hey, four reasons why you should fire your accountant and hire me. That's not the message that I'm trying to communicate. The message I'm trying to communicate is being aware of how are you spending your money on an accountant that is actually helping you in your business? Because there are a lot of people that, that, I re that I talk to because they know my background is accounting and finance. They ask me different questions or as we're talking through different aspects of their business, one of the biggest complaints that I hear them talk about is when it gets to finance, they're complaining about issues that they're having with their accountant. And something I have to remind people is that it is okay for you to like not do business with that person. It is okay for you to find someone else who can better serve what your needs are. And also, Sometimes you outgrow the accountant or the accounting firm that you're working with, and that's perfectly fine. Like you do not owe your accountant anything other than doing what you have committed to do. And if the reality of it is, is if they are not providing the service or they are not delivering to what you need to actually support your business, then it probably is time for you to move on and it's time for you to let them move on and it's perfectly fine. And so, you know, I reiterate that because like I said, sometimes when I, I, I do videos like this or I talk about a topic like this, you know, some people ask some questions like, well, who are you to say that about this? And so for those of you that don't know me, my background is my background is accounting and finance. I am a, a, a accounting and finance professional by trade. I'm a CPA um, this year recognized as a 40 under 40 CPA, a national award. Um, I also lead an accounting firm. And what my firm does, is we focus on bookkeeping and CFO services. And our firm has been recognized in the New York Times for a lot of the things that we're doing in our business, the ways that we're helping business owners and the way that we are you know, putting out information because this is one of those pieces of, of content or the series that we started several shows where we're putting out content and 99% of the stuff we do is all free content that we're putting out there talking about important topics and questions that business owners have that we're answering those questions. We're providing, you know, perspective. And in some of the cases, what we're doing is we're helping business owners understand, hey, these are the factors that you probably want to consider in that subject matter. And encouraging people like, hey, if you have a good working relationship with your accountant, here are the questions you should take them and work with your accountant to get the answers to those questions. And so that is what we do. And, and I know that, you know, like I said, when you hear that I'm an accountant and I'm saying like, hey, you know, four reasons why you should fire your accountant, people immediately think, oh, he's going to say four reasons why you should fire your accountant and you should hire me. You should hire me. That's not my message here, because the truth of the matter is I am not the right fit. And my firm, the TL Turner Group, is not the right fit for every business. And I like to let people know that, like when it comes down to the TL Turner Group, we provide bookkeeping and CFO services. Now, we function in in the bookkeeping space. There are a couple markets that I will say that we are great at serving. Like if you're a business in our key markets, we are gr a great option for you. We will do a phenomenal job. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure you're going to find someone else out there who's going to be better at it than us. And then there are other industries where, like I said, we know our craft. I'm a very good CPA or I'm a very good accountant. I understand fine corporate finance and all that stuff. But I'm not great at everything and our firm isn't great at everything. So we don't do everything. I mean, to be honest with you, when it comes down to the types of businesses and the types of clients we support on the service businesses, if you're a law firm, a marketing agency or an insurance agency, we got you. We're great at it. If you're in the food and beverage industry, you're a restaurant, a bakery or a bar, like from a bookkeeping perspective, we are great at it. Now, the truth of the matter is, if you are not one of these six businesses and you reach out to me because you need a bookkeeper, you need bookkeeping support, chances are 
I'm probably going to tell you, hey, I'm not the right, I'm not the best fit for you. Because what I realize is as a business owner, there are a ton of stuff that you got to deal with. You want someone who can actually be the best at providing the value that you need. We don't do that. And so one of the things that, you know, that we're working on now is we're going to have a on our on our on our page on our website, we're going to have a page that just says, hey, you know, if you're looking for if you're a medical doctor or you're you run a medical practice and you're looking for a bookkeeper, we're going to have some of the accounts and some of the bookkeeping firms that we've met and some people that we like the work that they're doing so you can get in touch with them. Because, again, we're not for everybody because we're not great at serving every industry. We are great and phenomenal at what we do. So we have decided that, hey, we're going to focus on what we're great at. So I'm not sharing this message of, hey, four reasons why you should fire your account and hire us because we may not be the right fit for you. But I do think these are topics that you should consider because these are common problems that I am hearing business owners come to me and they're saying, hey, I'm having this issue with my account. I'm having this type of issue. And I'm doing this video to let you know it is okay. If you're having these issues, it is okay for you to end the relationship with your accountant. So let's jump into it. The four issues that are that are the most common that I hear is an issue with communication. Now, when it comes down to communication, the biggest issue that a lot of business owners are having is that when I talk to my accountant, I don't understand any of the information that they're trying to communicate to me. Like, I don't understand, I don't get it, what they're trying to say to me. Because what I'm getting is they send me a ton of reports, they send me a ton of data, they say things in a confusing way, and I'm not understanding it. Like, I, I, I avoid my numbers because it just doesn't make sense to me. And my thing is, if you're working with a bookkeeper or an accountant that is not able to effectively communicate the information to you, they're not able to effectively get you the information that you need, then you're probably not working with the right accountant. Now, the second issue is timeliness. Now, one of the big things that a lot of people complain about is that they can't get in touch with their CPA or they can't get in touch with their accountant or their bookkeeper or like they send, they're sending messages, but they're not getting a response or they're not getting a reply. That is a big sign that you are not working with the right person. Because at the end of the day, an accountant, a bookkeeper, they are there to help serve you. They are there to help you move forward in a profitable and a more informed financial perspective of your business. And if you can't get in touch with them, they're probably not the right fit for you. And it's okay for you to end that relationship. Now, the other one is ignorance. Now, this is probably one of the most problematic areas because when it comes down to you know working with an accountant or a bookkeeper one of the very honest realities is that most accountants most bookkeepers they were not trained to understand business they may have been trained to understand the technical sides of accounting and how bookkeeping works they may have been trained to understand how quickbooks works or zero works but they weren't always Un, they weren't always trained to understand how business works. So if you're looking for an accountant who is actually going to help you understand the practical reality of what these numbers mean for your business, you want to work with someone who actually understands business. And I know it seems very obvious, but I can tell you from a person who has a undergraduate degree in, in, in studied accounting, I have a master's degree in accounting, I'm a CPA. I can tell you, not every CPA really understands business or how to run a business. So if you're looking for someone that can provide you insight and wisdom about the business decisions that you need to navigate, you want to make sure that, hey, you know, understand, does this CPA just understand their technical stuff? Like they're really good at that. And if they are just technical maybe there is a need that you have for them. Maybe, you know, you just need them to do technical stuff. But if you're leading someone that can provide you insight and, and provide, you know, be more of a, an advisor to provide you, hey, here's the business impact of these decisions or these thoughts, then maybe you need to work with a new accountant. Now, the last one are blind spots. This is a very common one for a lot of accountants because 
to be completely honest with you, the nature of accounting is about accounting for what has already happened. Accountants are, I guess you say, the field of accounting in its essence is not designed to account for what's going to happen in the future. That's a little more forecasting kind of planning. What uh, accountants are really trained to do is look at what happened in the past, understand what it was, and understand how to tell the story of what happened in the past. The challenge that a lot of business owners have is as you're trying to navigate and make different decisions about what you're going to do moving forward, you need someone who actually understands your business enough and can actually help you understand like, hey, if we make this decision, here are the potential outcomes of this decision. And not only that, hey, here's what you should probably do to make sure that we put the business in the best position possible to win in the future. Because the truth of the matter is, is if you're talking to someone who only knows how to look at the past, you're probably going to struggle working with that person because they're probably going to be playing it safe on everything. And part of the reason why, you know, accountants are trained to account and look at the past is because, you know, there's a lot more conservatism and there's a lot more there's a lot more safety because we're not I guess it's not the past is not subjective. The past is very black and white and this is what happened or this is not what happened. And that's what accounting is kind of designed on. But as you're a business owner or as you're a business leader, one of the things that you will realize that you need is you need someone who's going to help you be able to look forward and help you plan for what is to come and not be so focused on looking back at the past. So there are the top four things, as I've talked to tons of business owners and interviewed so many different business owners, and as we're growing the TL Turner Group, these are the top four areas that a lot of business owners are having issues with is they're saying that their accountant cannot communicate effectively. Like they don't understand anything that their accountant is trying to say. Timeliness, they can't get in touch with their, their accountant and they can't get responses back in a timely fashion. Ignorance meaning their accountant doesn't understand how to actually run a business. Their accountant understands technical stuff. They understand the tax code, but they really don't understand their business. And then blind spots, meaning that the accountant only looks backwards. The accountant is not helping them understand, hey, what is the potential? What are the what are the things we need to be aware of moving forward and going into the future? So as always, thanks for tuning in. We'll keep making these awesome videos to share insight with you. So thanks for watching.